you don't have time to throw. And when you do, you can't draw for shit. And when you can't draw for shit, it takes millions of years. How the fuck are you supposed to make a new art like this? Get your shit together. In a world full of instant thing, instant art, instant entertainment, instant shit. How are you able to compete in this fast moving world? By the time you're done making one artwork, there is an AI art page uploading twice every day, gaining 50k followers in a month. And you're standing with like two likes on your post. Hello! Who oh, no rest, I'm sad, no, shut your bitch ass up. This is the time we utilize everything. We are done. All of this traditionalist bullshit. Oh, pen and paper, oh, drawing from scratch. Oh, you're supposed to do it from zero, otherwise you're not drawing. We are done. Here's the thing. I know you love the journey of drawing. I mean, it's your hobby after all. But deep down, you really want to be able to finish more artwork in the short amount of times that you have. This is a step-by-step -step way so you can draw efficiently and faster. Disclaimer, I am not saying in any way that this would be easy. It's still going to take time and effort, just faster. Number one, abandon perspective. Huh? Useless, we now have 3D. Use 3D Blender. Whereas I like drawing perspective because I'm quirky. Shut the fuck up. One to two days of making background, yeah? 20 minutes max using 3D. Don't you understand? Your time is precious. We are saving it. You know, I'm not even going to make a 3D tutorials. There's tons of it, YouTube. But imagine this, yeah? You're making one scene of environment. Then you can use it in any millions of perspective. Top down, bottom up, flat, extreme angle, diagonal position. That would have taken months to create. Like, I'm not even joking. Uh. Your time learning perspective for shortening, it doesn't do anything anymore. When you can do it in 3D, 10 times faster. You know, admit it, you want to learn for shortening. Perspective, just to flex. I, however, want to increase my speed in creating art that I want to create. I know there's going to be someone who will be like, oh, art takes time, you can't force speed up something. I genuinely do not care. You never even draw environment for weeks because it's hard, taking too much time. Amplify your skills with 3D. Number two. Paint over. What is this, Ras? It's basically you have a 3D base and you paint over it. Think about it for a second, okay? There's already lighting, there's already proportions, anatomy, all packed, and you just need to paint over it. Some environment room, done. Some gun, done. Models, done. Throwing guns would have taken you millions of years. Like, I'm not even capping. I know you will say, oh, but this doesn't increase my skills in drawing. So, does it even make any difference? You're trying to increase your output quality and quantity and that is an indicative of improving your skill as an artist okay fine everything it doesn't increase your drawing skills but you will learn other valuable skills too like modeling environment some camera positioning skills and trust me your skill as 2d artist still applies it still helps immensely even if you do 3d stuff all the skills you learn color theory balance and whatnot like an anatomy okay in 3d it might be stiff you can change it to be more dynamic as per as per your knowledge about anatomy and motion, it still applies. In fact, it amplifies you as an artist. Don't limit yourself just because your skill in drawing doesn't increase as, as it used to. Improvise, adapt. Number three, make plan and achieve. You know, if you decided that you will finish a new drawing today at 8 p.m., at 8 p.m. today, you will finish the artwork. There is no excuses, no anything. Is there any consequences to you not doing the things you said you do? Well, I personally won't judge you but you yourself will subconscious. So be honest with yourself. Say the things you mean and mean the things you said. If you can only finish one artwork every five days, it's fine. You're being honest with yourself. But when that five days is up, you need to fulfill. Otherwise, you're talking shit. And it will keep on going and going and going until you never do art anymore or life anymore. So don't do that. Know that I'm rooting for you. Number four, apply 80-20 rule. It basically means 80% of your result is achieved to 20% of effort and vice versa. Think about it, man. Most of your drawing process is going to be like this. You draw and it's going so fast. Huh? You're progressing so fast. Huh? It's almost finished. Huh? It only took you like 10, 20 minutes. Wow. Huh? And then after you progress, it's now time for you to detail it. It took you hours to detail your art. That detailing is the 20% of result that comes from the 80% of effort. Now don't get me wrong, okay? It's what makes the drawing finish 100%. But we want to draw faster. We know detailing is the 80% of effort. We just need to make the artwork as if it's detailed even though it's not. 
but how can we achieve that 20% of result with only 20% of effort from the 80% of effort? I don't know what I'm talking about. But we need to get an impressions of detail. You know, it looks like I'm detailing, but I'm actually just putting blobs of color. No over the top rendering, just enough brush strokes so that it looks detailed. If you don't look close enough, just part of it. Also, you don't need to detail every part. The focus of your artwork could be in the face, in the jewelry, or object, and anything else a blur. This does not mean that you should never give your 100% though, but it's just for you to prioritize efficiency when that is your goal. If you focus on quality, of course you should put 100% effort to get 100% of the result. Number 5. Do all the cheating stuff that people taught you. You need to realize, we are at our rebellious age. It is time to resist. I don't even care anymore. Trace a photo, copy a color, copy a composition, do something insane like copying. I used to draw from scratch, yeah? And this is when I was in high school, I don't have shit to do. Time has passed, and then I was still clinging to that traditionalist mindset of making things from scratch not realizing I have shit to do now. I have things I want to create, yet I also have things I need to do to survive. I have to do fucking college, I have some activity and shit, and I also want to make this YouTube bit. Now, where does that leave me with drawing time? Where does that leave you with drawing time? Repel! Resist! Bye.